So as we're dealing today with slope intercept form, I want you guys at the top of the page to just jot down a couple of notes. The equation for slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Remember the plus b, the b is telling us where on the graph the graph's line crosses the y-axis, and we call that the y-intercept. So on any graph, this right here would be the y-intercept. So if you have an equation where this is plus 3, you would find the 3 on the y-axis. What's the m stand for? Slope. m is our slope. And just a quick review, uh, slope is the change in y over the change in x, right? And that we also call that rise over run. So just some notes on things we already know. Okay, you're going to have some problems today where you're being given the slope and the y-intercept, and you're going to be expected to graph it. So if I tell you that on this graph the slope is 2, and the y-intercept is negative 3, what would you start with to graph? Negative 3. We always want to start with the y-intercept. So we're going to go down here to the negative 3. Yeah. That is a point on our graph. We graph by finding a second point on our graph. We're going to use the slope to do that. And if I tell you the slope is 2, it's rise over run. So what's the invisible number right now? One. So our slope is 2 over that invisible 1, yeah. meaning that we rise up 2 and run over 1. Rise up 2 and run over 1, and that gives us our line. I should have used a straight edge for a better line. Okay. With that, we can write the equation for that line. This would be y is equal to 2x minus 3. I'm taking the pieces of the equation and putting them in place. Okay. I would like you guys to write down on this one, our slope is zero and our y-intercept is negative five. And try to graph it. What's the slope? Zero. So it's not undefined. It's zero. 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 So we're going to go down to negative five. And we're just going to have a zero slope going straight across. This is zero. There is an equation for this. Y equals zero x minus five. What's zero times x going to be? Zero. So we can just rewrite this as y is equal to negative five. Okay, go down to the third graph that you stamped. And instead of giving you the slope and the y-intercept, some of your problems are going to give you the slope and a point on the line.
And then you're going to be expected to find the slope from that. There's a couple of ways. One, we can graph it and find rise over run. If our slope is 4, we have to start with the point 2 comma 5. Sorry, not the slope. You need to find the y-intercept. What's 2 comma 5? We're going to go to 2 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The slope is 4, so is my line going to be positive or negative? Positive. positive. What we know so far about this equation is that y is equal to 4x. We don't know what the plus b is, if it's a negative number or a positive. So let's find the slope. I can't go up 4 because my graph doesn't go high enough. But I can go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Should I go left or right to make this a positive line? Oh, to make a positive line, you have to go left. Uh -huh. Because from left to right, I have to go up. Okay, so it's going to go to the left 1. So I'm here. And then I'm going to count down 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4 and to the left one, there's my y-intercept. Your y-intercept is negative three. It is, negative three. So it's a pretty steep line. It's gonna look something like that. And the equation is y equals four x minus three. So some of the problems you're going to work on today are going to give you the slope and y-intercept. You're going to be expected to find the equation. You can graph it to help you find the equation or just write the equation. Some are going to tell you the point. Now there's another way I could have done this. And I want you guys to follow along with me. We're going to use this space right here. I know that the equation is y is equal to mx plus b. What am I given here? 2 comma 5 That's your slope. and the slope. Yes. I can put the slope in where the, at the m is. And I can put the 2 in where the x is. Yes. And I can put the 5 in where the y is. And I can solve and find the b. We already know it's negative 3 because we graphed it, but let's find it, okay? okay. What's 4 times 2? So 8 plus b equals 5. I'm going to subtract the 8. 5 minus 8 gives me negative 3 equals b. So two ways to find that missing piece of your equation. One, you can graph it. The other, you can use the equation and plug the numbers in where the x and y are to find it. And then there's some of my favorites here. They just give us some equations and ask you to graph it. If you know how to use y equals mx plus b to graph, these are going to be pretty simple for you. Let's try for this graph I encroached on. y is equal to 2 thirds x. What's my slope? 2 thirds x. Okay, do you see a plus b here? No, we don't. So we started the origin. Oh. This equation is y equals mx plus b, but it's also a direct variation because we're, the the we're going through the origin. So when there's no plus b there, that means that the y-intercept is plus zero. We can put our first point here. And then we're going to do rise over run, two over three. One, two, one, two, three. I really only need two points to graph the line. We're going to do two more graphs and I'm going to give you guys some problems. Sometimes they're going to give you the problem in standard form. So we have to graph it from the equation. We could put it into slope intercept or we could use the y intercepts or oh. x and y intercept. Remember the cover up method? Yes, we do. What's my y intercept going to be here? Five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Quick review, how did we do that? We covered it up because we're saying if we put a zero in for that x, 
6 times 0 would be 0. We'd be left with 2y equals 10. Divide the 2 and we would get y is equal to 5. Does it work as well here? No. So why don't we go ahead and just turn it into y equals mx plus b and find out what our slope is. We know where we're starting. So I'm going to subtract the 6x. I get 2y is equal to negative 6x plus 10. We're going to divide by what number? 2. two. Every part of this gets divided by 2. That leaves the equation as y is now equal to negative 3x plus 5. We already knew about that plus 5 from our cover-up method, right? But now we know our slope is negative 3 over 1. So we can count down 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And we should be getting a negative line because our slope is negative 3. If you accidentally put the point on the other side, if you went left instead of right, you should catch it by asking, should this be a positive or negative line? Okay. What if you have an equation that says something like this? It means every point on the graph for x is going to end up at 4. Oh, did you see? Did you hear that? I said therefore, and then the numbers four. So, what kind of line is this? Okay, so some problems for today, which you're going to work on the binder paper, or I've got graph paper. You can use my stamp again, or just use straight up graph paper, okay? Um, you guys are going to be working on page 348. Numbers 1 through 9. Nope, 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 that's wrong. 1 through 12. And then 23 to 25. I'm feeling like I'm talking over a lot of voices while I'm trying to record. And finally, 32 to 34. So we're jumping around a little bit, but that means I'm skipping problems you don't need to do.